welcome back to the channel. Yep, one of, one of my adventures. We're here with RMS, the Restomot shop for P Events show, which is called River Rod. And right in the morning, I was with Jose. We trailered it up to bring this Camaro onto the trailer, and I immediately got stuck in a mud hole. <laughs> I want to show you this El Camino because back when I worked at RMS full time, uh, building cars, fabricating parts. That's one of the first cars that I started working on and it's been right under two years and now it's finally done. Alright, so this is your first time at this car show? Yep, first time. This is one of my favorite shows because it's just old school, pure hot rodding, and you're out of focus. There we are. Yeah, there you go. And I just love, I just love hot rods. I love American cars, muscle cars, pro touring cars. That's my jam. Uh, so let's play the, uh, let's play the game. All right. Let's go. You get to pick your favorite car. Mm -hmm. I get to pick my favorite car, but it clearly can't be the El Camino or the Camaro because okay. we already know them. And we're biased. <laughs> Lee Sanchez, how's it going, man? How's it going? Uh, his truck is called it's called Texcellent, right? Yes, it's Texcellent, but uh, Texcellent. it's Project Texcellent. Project Texcellent. So I saw this truck and I immediately thought, dude, that is like that's my style day and night. Time out, ref. You look you left this part out. It's a manual. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it sure is, man. look at that shifter. Yeah, that's a Billy shifter from JC Customs, and uh, we just uh, put that new uh, crushed uh, carbon fiber steering wheel on there. Also, I just did that. We got the tower speaker bars in the back. Yeah, tower speaker. Uh, with Celine in partnership, and we slammed it. We built a body kit, and then J JBA hit us up, and they were like, "Oh, we want to put these marine grade speakers in your truck." I don't fit anywhere. So we built a wake tower that's on the mechanism. Oh, so when you roll the tonneau cover up, it goes up. Oh, right on, so man. We, I've seen that before. You've seen it? Yeah, yeah. So we named the truck Wake and Base because, uh -huh. you know, the, the audio. All right, run me through it. What year, what model, what trim, and then all the modifications. It's a 1994 uh, Ford F 350. Uh, it's sitting on about a 13 inch lift. Uh, got the 30 by 16 uh, Fittipaldi um, FTF. 503s on 42 inch tires. Um, we did a uh, 2017 uh, F250 uh, seat conversion, so everything's gutted out of this truck. It's coming along real nice. How about the power stroke? What's the. What's it's a 7.3 power stroke, um, and uh, it's an XLT model. It actually was originally a Hunter Green, and uh, we painted it uh, black. Uh, it's, it looks sexy when it's clean. It's, no, dude, know, it's sexy so. as hell, dude. Yeah. So hands down, so we're playing the game, right, Jose? Yep, What's absolutely. What's our favorite build here? And right when you pulled up, it was like, it's done. Right and that's on. my favorite build yeah. here. Appreciate that. Because we can't pick our own builds. That's the game. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my favorite build, Lee. Thank, thank you so thank much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yep. And then uh, what's your Instagram? Plug it, it is in. Project underscore Texelent. Project oh. underscore Texelent. So yeah, if you so. want to see more of this, and you post like other car shows you go to so that people can actually absolutely, like watch absolutely, it. Yeah. Absolutely, and I'm actually building another uh, 1993 Ford F-150, kind of okay. similar to this one. We just did a paint job on it. What's that one uh, called? That one is the same, same page. I haven't really uh, made a new page for that one yet. So. Yeah, dude, truck and sick. So I'm here with Eric Love. So he runs, what is it? Gateway Classic Cars. Gateway Classic Cars. He actually sold my Dodge Challenger. So he's known me for a while based off like social media and whatnot. Yeah. And he runs Gateway Classic Cars and you host a car show? Yeah, once a month, last Saturday of every month. Last Saturday of every month in New Braunfels. I'll put that right down here below. And then tell me a little bit about Hot Rod Tour of Texas. Hot Rod Tour of Texas is a group out of the, the Victoria area. Uh, they This is the third year that they've had the tour. Uh, it's basically uh, like a miniature version of the uh, Hot Rod Power Tour. They start on Thursday night in Victoria. There's a kickoff party, live music, dinner. And then Friday, they drive from Victoria up to New Braunfels, where we have a private screening at the drive-in. We hit distilleries and, and wineries and museums and all the kind of cool stops along the way. It's just a big cruise, 350 cars. It's a blast. And one of the neat features is all the small towns that we go through, the police department's been alerted ahead of time, and they close Main Street down, nice. and it's like a big parade. Every little town we go through is like a big parade, 350 cars. And, and they're cars of all, all kinds. It doesn't have to be any specific type of hot rod, just whatever uh, you know you enjoy driving. Okay, so wait a minute. Would the Jeep 
fall into that category? Yeah, Jeep would qualify. Okay, dude, I might go. Are you going to go? Yeah, I already paid that. Yeah, we're okay, paid I'll look at my calendar and I'll see you in my join the Hot Rod uh, tour at Texas. So thank you so much, Eric, All and right, uh, we'll see you around, bro. We'll see you. <laughs>
and the event was canceled down in Houston. Essentially, there wasn't enough participants that signed up for the Speed Advocates event, so everybody got refunded and the event got moved. So now my first actual drift day slash shakedown day is gonna be at Dreamers of Drift in Austin, Texas in about five weeks, I think. So now I have all this downtime, which my shakedown day was actually supposed to be with Speed Advocates. Now it's gonna be the Austin event. So what I'm gonna do is actually take this Mustang to Hella Bad Garage or Jesse at Hella Bad Broncos and he's gonna be doing the uh, rear diff. He's gonna weld the rear diff and while he's at it, gonna add the dual caliper brackets. So we'll be going into it like full blown modified handbrake rear diff welded, a little bit of angle kit, uh, angle with the making modular rack spacers and we're pretty much gonna shake down the car and uh, go from there. But all right guys, if you've made it this far, you've been following me along building the drift Mustang then don't be shy, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and hit that like button for me, all right? This is YouTube, that stuff helps me out. But the, all the coming content with the Mustang is gonna be drift content. The other thing we're planning with the boys is a wheeling trip. So here soon, I got a couple of brake lines to change out on the CJ7 to get that ready for Hidden Falls Adventure Park. Uh, but essentially, next content, we're gonna be ripping. All right guys, appreciate you guys. Love you guys, just mean it. Till next time, peace out.